the truth of girls. Hi, everyone. Well, did we ever get an October surprise? I mean, this was something beyond anything that anyone could have expected. I was looking at all this information. I'm trying to figure out, okay, what's what's real, what's not real, what you know, what's verified, what isn't, what's rumor, and what's fact. So let's look at some of these articles that have been coming out. First of all, I'm going to start with this one. Maybe this was like the most alarming headline. And what they're talking about here is a certain congressman aptly named Anthony Weiner got busted sexting a 15 year old. Originally it was investigated by CPS because in the photo his child was seen sleeping in the background. The FBI got involved. This guy's married to, or well, was married, they're separate now, married to this woman, Huma Abedin, who is Hillary's closest personal aide, or has been working for Hillary for 20 years. And it turns out they've got this laptop, which gets then turned over to the FBI, and the FBI finds a whole ton of new emails on it. You know, the, his, his sexting scandal just sort of opened the door to reopening this whole email issue and now it's just like a rabbit hole, a treasure trove of dirt on the Clintons and their associates. According to this article, what they found on there was evidence of Clinton uh, herself and her associates being involved with money laundering, child exploitation, sex crimes with minors, perjury, pay to play through the Clinton Foundation, obstruction of justice and other felony crimes. It says here the new emails contain travel documents and itineraries indicating Hillary and Bill, uh, Weiner, and multiple members of Congress and other government officials accompanied convicted pedophile billionaire Jeffrey Epstein uh, to his private private island in the U.S. Virgin Islands, which is known, known as Orgy Island or Sex Slave Island. I think that it was verified in the past that Bill Clinton did make trips with this to this island and knew Jeffrey Epstein, but this what's in this particular article, I, I wouldn't consider this as verified. What is verified is that there are more emails, emails that, that she didn't turn over. And she was emailing on multiple servers. It, it's also turning out now that she was very careless and how she used her devices. She had, I think, eight Blackberries and five different iPads, which she used. And these, these things all got hacked. They got hacked by like five different countries. So when she first went to court, they said, yeah, you, this wasn't honest. You deleted emails. You weren't forthcoming with the emails. Uh, but maybe, you know, she's an old lady and she doesn't know what she's doing with these gadgets. And okay, we're not going to send her to jail. But now it's turning out there's more. Oh, in spite of the fact that not all of that's verified, there's enough there to say that Hillary Clinton is going to be subjected to another investigation. And this time she may actually go to jail. And it's not just about her emails. It's also about stuff to do with the Clinton Foundation, which was used for money, money laundering, which was taking money and then not using it for charities. Um, all kinds of things like that and more is going to come out over time. So here's another thing that I'd really like you to see. It's a video from a guy called Steve Pietschenik, uh, the Hillary Clinton takeover of the United States. And what he's basically saying is that what's happening right now is a coup and a counter coup that the U.S. government had been the subject of, of a coup to take it over and to destroy the U.S. And this is what Hillary Clinton, the Bush Clinton dynasty have been doing, destroying America. And that now there is a coup against that. There's a coup against the coup. Americans, you know, you, you have wanted change. You've wanted this corrupt government to come to an end. And, and this is what this coup is going to do. It's going to take down the Bushes and Clintons and you're going to have a new government. Hopefully this is going to be one that is not going to be corrupt and, and trying to destroy your country from the inside. Check out this video. And if you're wondering who is this guy, Steve Pietschenik, this was covered in detail by Michael Trim, who is Steve Pietschenik, Clinton's coup and FBI counter coup via WikiLeaks and FOIA, which will explain uh, why you should be listening to Steve, his background in government. He was the deputy assistant to secretary of state and he's also worked in intelligence and so this is a guy who's an insider who's telling you what's happening coup 
and counter coup. And here's one more thing that you should really see. Anonymous releases bone chilling video of Huma Abedin every American needs to see. Huma Abedin, as I mentioned before, she'd been working for Hillary Clinton for 20 years. And as you'll see in this video, her family has connections to Saudi extremist terrorist funding groups that her family business is funded by one Omar Nassif who has also been known to fund Al Qaeda and Osama bin Laden and various terrorist uh, organizations. This is, it's official that he has been caught funding terrorist organizations. This is the guy who funds Huma Abedin's family business. Huma Abedin's mother is, she has written a book about women in Islam. She advocates Sharia law. I mean, Huma Abedin is connected with Muslim extremism and those who, who would like to take down the American government and implement Sharia law. And it's like Hillary Clinton, the Clintons and those associated with her have been paid off. I mean, they're bringing down the government from the inside. They have connections to these organizations. And then on the surface, they're fighting the war on terror. You know, it's just really quite mind blowing. And so now it's sort of all getting busted wide open. It looks like Hillary, um, you know, may actually do jail time. I mean, can you imagine though how greedy to take money from these people and participate in something like this, bring down your own country? How deceptive and duplicitous to, she's living a lie. Hillary's been living a lie. Hillary, the lie is coming to an end. You may go to jail. Don't panic. Uh, Martha Stewart did it. I'm sure you will pull through. Think of it as an opportunity for personal growth. Maybe a kind of career change. Your last chance for redemption. I mean, you're getting up there in years. It's like the US government has been run by gangsters. I mean, money laundering, the child trafficking, uh, pay to play, all, all these things that they've been doing. You don't get more gangster than that. Hillary is living the thug life. I can just sort of see her, you know. My name is Hillary and I like to roll. I run for president because I want to control. I got emails that I've been hiding. I go with Epstein to the sex island. White House lawn, represent. It's a beautiful day in New York. Hillary is an OG, original gangster. You know, this is, for Hillary, you really don't have anything to worry about because what do you have in jail? You get gangsters. What are you? A gangster. Hillary, girl, you're an OG. You're gonna fit right in. I deleted my emails, but they still got read. I'll make it to the White House if I make it there dead. Oh, hey, you know, Hillary Clinton herself said that this was like a whole big conspiracy. Somebody get this lady a tinfoil hat. When you do a coup to someone else, it's okay. But when it happens to you, I don't like this. It's a conspiracy. It's a Russian conspiracy to get me out. I got a lot of ambition and I'm gonna make it. You know I can do it, but I just can't take it. My Hillary. I got a big old rock. Vote for me, don't vote for Trump. My name is Hillary and I'm no lady. I stole all the money that was meant for Haiti. White House long represent original gangsters in the government. I ran for press and I was gonna win. If it wasn't for the humor, evident. I would have won the election if it wasn't for Wiener and his erection. Now I'm gonna get indicted by the FBI and if you send me to jail, I'm gonna cry. And that's a wrap. So this is actually a very exciting time because as many of you know, America has for decades been in the grips of really a criminal cartel. All this stuff is coming out in the wash now and this may be your chance to break out of that. And I sincerely hope that this will be the end of this mafia running your country and that America will be made great again. I'm hoping that this is gonna be a revival for America, a revival of all the, the good things and the values that America has always been so proud to have, to stand for. So let me know what you think. Thanks for giving me a thumbs up. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for listening to me and I'll see you next time.